Now for this part of the question, which is worth 5 marks, we're given that dy by dx equals 6x plus 3x to the power 5 over 2, all divided by the square root of x. And that y equals 90 when x is 4. And what we've got to do basically is find y in terms of x and simplify the coefficient of each term. So, how are we going to do this? How are we going to get y? Well, if we know what dy by dx is, then y is going to equal the integral with respect to x of this particular expression here. So, we'll just write down what that is again. 6x plus 3x to the power 5 over 2, all divided by the square root of x. And we're integrating this with respect to x, so don't forget to write that dx on the end. Now, to integrate something like this, it's got to be put in a better format. And that was the purpose of the previous question. Do you remember, it said to re-express this in an alternative form. And that form turned out to be 6x to the power half plus 3x squared. So we've got to integrate all of this. Now there's a couple of terms here, so you make sure you put it in brackets and then don't forget that dx on the end. Okay, so we've now got two terms which are in the correct form for integrating. And to integrate anything like this, remember, you just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we've got 6x to the power half. So if we add 1 to the power half, which is 1 and a half, but do write it as 3 over 2. Then divide it by that new power, 3 over 2. Do the same again for the next one. 3x squared, we add 1 to the power, so it's 3x to the power 3, and then divide by that new power, 3. And what we mustn't forget is the constant of integration, plus c, I've called it. You can call it any letter you like, okay? But c tends to be quite common, as well as, say, k as well. So what we need to do now is just clean up each of these two terms. So if we times top and bottom by 2 here, we'll get 12x to the power 3 over 2, and that'll be all divided by 3. And for this one, well, 3 divided by 3 cancels to 1, so that'll be just simply x cubed plus c. And you could clean this up again, because 12 can be divided by 3 exactly, so what we've got here is 4x to the power 3 over 2, plus x cubed, plus c. Okay, so this is what y equals, but we've got this constant of integration, and we've got to work out what that is. And that's the reason behind giving these values. When y equals 90, x is 4. And we can use those then to find out c by substituting these into our equation here. So let's just say that when x equals 4, y equals 90. And if we substitute that in, in place of the y, we'd write 90 then. 90 equals 4 multiplied by x, which is 4, to the power 3 over 2. And then plus x cubed, so that's plus 4 cubed. And then plus c. Now if we work this out, we've got 90 here equals, and we've got 4 to the power 3 over 2, which means square root the 4 first of all, that would be 2, then cube it, which is 8, and then 4 times 8 is 32. And then you've got 4 cubed, which is 64, and then plus the constant integration c. Well, this side comes to 96, so if we subtract 96 from both sides, we'd end up with 90 minus 96, which is minus 6, and that will equal c. So c equals minus 6. So all we need to do then is substitute this back into our equation for y, and we can say that therefore y equals 4x to the power 3 over 2, plus x cubed, and then plus the constant of integration, which we now know is minus 6. And there you have your answer. Okay?